Shoplifting is a crime Albuquerque police has dedicated extra resources to over the last several years, with officers working extra overtime and conducting stings at retail stores across the city. Now one of their own is charged with committing it. In a KRQE investigation, Amperet shows you the tactic an APD officer is accused of using to shoplift from two different stores in the city and how a store employee's attention to detail led to her arrest. Is the best, uh, yeah. That's her. That's not, that is Two Albuquerque police officers recognizing one of their own on surveillance footage captured inside a Target store. So what do you have? Tell us what's right. Wrong. So she, I caught her uh, ticket switching through like just reviewing and everything. Ticket switching, when someone takes the price tag off a cheaper item and puts it on the more expensive one they're buying. The officers are speaking with loss prevention specialist Ty Hunt, who says he frequently reviews surveillance footage to keep an eye on possible shoplifting at the Target on Coors Boulevard in northwest Albuquerque. Basically, you should just take a switch like it's personal care stuff. Hunt's typically tipped off, he tells the two, when someone buys plastic cups, which cost just 50 cents. The first time Vanessa Santianis did that, Hunt shows them April 17th. An incident report reveals she saved herself $67.90 with the ticket switching tactic, not properly paying for lotion or mousse. She'd use the 50 cent cups price tags again, Hunt told the officers at the same store, June 17th. Here she is, caught on surveillance, leaving Target, having swapped price tags, Hunt says, on face cleanser, body wash, and deodorant, stealing $22.87 worth of merchandise. She also goes between here and the sale. On April 30th, surveillance footage shows the officer entering the Paseo del Norte store, where Hunt says she made a $200 purchase, but he pointed out she also gave herself a deal on these two pairs of shoes she's scanning at the self-checkout. They cost $27.99 each, but Santianis' receipt shows she paid just $10 for them. Hunt says she switched the price tags with two pairs of sandals, stealing $35.98. And how did you get information she was a uh, Albuquerque police officer? So obviously, like I did, uh, typed the name on Google and everything. What I kept seeing was patrolman, second class, and everything, and Albuquerque police. And okay. So I assumed maybe she was an officer. A Google search and Hunt says the off-duty Santianis drove a car with a government license plate to a store in November during what would be the final incident before she was caught. This time, Hunt captured their officer throughout the store, even zooming into her cart where he sees nearly $50 in beauty products. But a records request shows she used the price tags from these four items, worth $5, $3, and $2.80 when scanning the makeup and face cleanser, allowing her to steal $32.98, according to Hunt. In total, he says, Santianis stole $159.73 from the two Target stores. It's not the most serious case that we have in terms of the dollar amounts involved, but we take it very seriously just because of the, the breach in public trust for, for somebody that serves in that role. Attorney General Raul Torres' office took the case against the APD officer to avoid a conflict of interest with the local district attorney. Okay, do you want to talk to us or? Yeah, maybe, not me, really. Let me kind of know what's going on. When special agents question Santianis about the four incidents, she does identify herself in surveillance footage. Yeah, that's is that me. you? That's me. Okay. This one specifically is on uh, April 30th. Mm -hmm. and that, you're saying that's you, right? That looks like me, yeah. Okay. But refuses to talk further about the accusations, telling them, quote, this is crazy. She's been a police officer for a decade, and ticket switching isn't something she'd do. I don't want to talk about this. I don't feel comfortable talking about this. Okay. I don't want to get no. caught up in something that, you know, I didn't do. Right. This isn't something that I would do. Santianis is facing four misdemeanor counts of shoplifting. This is a pretty, frankly, sad case where you have somebody who has taken an oath to uphold the law, 
who's been caught and accused of, of committing criminal violations like this. Criminal violations AG Torres' office has been working with her police department to stop. A previous KRQ investigation delved into the organized retail crime unit, which started under his predecessor and consists of shoplifting stings across the state. While investigators are typically focused on dismantling groups who shoplift larger ticket items and then illegally sell those, Torres says they can't let petty crimes like what Santillanes is accused of go unpunished. He credits detailed work by loss prevention specialists like Hunt with helping them make sure that happens. You know, hopefully we can secure a conviction and get the kind of accountability that everyone in the community expects. Vanessa Santianis resigned from APD in January. The now former officer's police certification is under investigation by the Law Enforcement Certification Board. She's due back in court next month, but this is Santianis's first criminal charge. And Perret, KRQE investigates. Since taking office in January 2022, AG Raul Torres says he's expanding the organized retail crime unit to include four full-time investigators. Right now, the unit has 20 open investigations in six different cities across the state.